Hi everyone, I'm Monique and today I'm creating a new layout for Lottie Loves Paper using their fun weekly sketch. I'm going to be making use of my design team kit which is the gorgeous colour study collection by Vicky Booten and I've been eyeing out this sheet of patterned paper for some time now. It's called Colour Wheel and it is just perfect for the sketch. So I'm going to start off by cutting out the various different segments so that I can mirror that sketch and um, I'm just going to be cutting them out and I will be swapping the order of that pink and red triangle angle there um, just so that I'm happier with the, the color scheme I feel that it flows really nicely and now I'm just going to be tearing off the edges because I really want quite a nice distressed looking edge now here you'll see I'm cutting apart <laughs> that segment I'm cutting it along the lines every second line and I've kind of got an idea in my head and I'm really just hoping <laughs> it works as I cut this piece of paper apart so I'm doing a similar thing with the pink triangle except I am cutting it every third line and now that red one I've left it as a whole but you will see in a moment that I turn it over to see the reverse side of the pattern paper which is a gorgeous pink and red patterned paper and I love those tones together. Now this teal and green segment I'm leaving as a whole because that's going to be behind my photos. Now for each segment I want to do some media in the background so I'm starting off with some gorgeous florals using this lovely stencil um, from the Colour Study Collection. So I'm using a distressed ink for the centres which is picked raspberry and then I'm using a lighter shade of pink for the outer petals and I'm just moving that stencil about just to fill in some of the gaps with those lovely florals. I have this gorgeous repeating rainbow stencil from Pear Tree Cut Files and that's perfect for going behind the red segment. So I'm using three different tones of Distress Inks. Um, I start off with a pink and then I move on to a red and then an orange. So kind of blending from the pink segment all the way through the red to the orange segment as well. And now I've got this lovely sun stencil um, and I'm using again two shades of yellow Distressed Inks. I think they are Squeezed Lemonade and Fossil amber just to create some different tones there in that beautiful beautiful sunshine now this lovely spotty stencil is from the color study collection and again I'm going in with three different tones of distress ink so a lilac -y tone a more royal blue and then the darkest blue is definitely called chipped sapphire and I'm doing various um, shades of spots there and here close up you can see this is an older Vicky Booten stencil made up of clusters of little spots and I'm using a lovely lime green and a more tealy tone just to blend in again with the segment of patterned paper that will be on top of it. I will list all the, the ink colours that I've used down below. Now I'm just layering those on top of each other until I'm happy before moving on to distressing every single edge of all those segments just to give a lovely textured look. Now I'm using this ephemera piece um, it's I've got this idea in my head of creating labels for each of the segments they don't make it to the finished layout but for now they're there so you can kind of see my thought process as I progress through this layout now um, this page is going to reflect a few of my favorite things so I'm trying to remember those as I am embellishing the various different segments and one of the things that I love to do is creating so I thought to include some um, colored pencils and and, um, creative elements however you'll also see these also don't make it to the finished product but now I'm moving on to my pink segment which is the flower segment because another great love of mine is flowers and um, a page of my favorite things would not be complete without a rainbow so I'm giving this patterned paper from the 6x8 paper pad a try um, to see how it works this layout really was a process I changed my mind so many times throughout the stages that it goes through and um, it ended up being quite different with how it was embellished from what I'd originally had in mind stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like I'm wasted every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am it's like I'm wasted and I won't waste it And I promise that I, I will 
Now in a moment you're going to see me pointing out some stamping in the top right hand corner where I did some florals and in the bottom left where I did some ink splats using those lovely stamps. Unfortunately my camera wasn't recording so um, I'm going to show you some stamping now that I've done on top of the dotty stenciling and I'm using two colours of Distress inks, um, a purple and a blue um, just to give a lovely different dimension of colour there and I'm just adding that in along with the stenciling before adding those segments back on top. I can't get you out of my mind. Now I'm going to be backing my photo with some white tissue paper with some torn edges and that lovely teal square of patterned paper is going to go behind it and it's just big enough so that hints of that teal is going to peek through the edges and I'm just distressing those edges as well to tie in with the rest of the layout. Now I'm just measuring to find the exact centre of my page and I'm using another sheet of the colour wheel pattern paper just to get the perfect centre of that circle and I'm marking where I've made my segments because I want to draw some doodled lines just to separate those segments and just to kind of highlight them so I'm first going in with my ruler and drawing the the segments and then I'm going to go in again and draw a bit more of a wibbly doodled line just um, so that it's got a nice natural drawn line rather than being too structured with um, a very straight line now a time to stick everything down you are going to see some of the pieces are stuck directly onto the background and others are raised with some craft foam and you'll see in a little bit the yellow and orange um, segments um, the first um, couple are stuck directly on the background the next few are raised with a slightly thinner foam square and then the final three are raised with a slightly thicker foam square just so that there's extra dimension and various different heights Let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Now let's get these embellishments stuck down. Now this pretty yellow floral, I want it to be peeking out from behind one of those curved yellow and orange strips. So it's partly gonna be stuck directly to the background, um, but the rest is gonna be raised um, on top of the yellow and orange strips. And then I'm just curling those edges slightly. Now this little piece of floral is just peeking out from behind the pink wedge at the top there. So it's stuck directly onto the background, but then also the tips are raised up with um, um, little foam squares. Now it's time to build my title. I wanted it to be a few of my favorite things, but I really wanted to use these gorgeous color study thickers, but they are quite big. So the word favorite would have taken up a large portion of this layout. So I've settled on fave and I'm using um, little white foam thickers to add in my extra words to create my full title. Now I'm just building up my photo cluster. So I'm popping in a little tab there and using that ephemera piece in the background and one of those tabs um, and just layering them together to create that photo piece before adding a few extra splat stamps in there that I feel um, are just going to finish off that, that area there. I felt like it was missing something. So those splats just finish it off for me. So I've left this bit in so that you can see my process um, but as I mentioned before these labels don't make it to the end. I did even add those subtitles with other um, alphabet stickers as well directly onto the page um, which you won't see because no one needs to see me going backwards and forwards a million times um, but I've left this in just so that you can see part of my process. Um, I did go back and forth quite a bit um, with how I wanted to arrange those subtitles. Now I'm just dotting about a few of the lovely colour study puffy hearts that tie in perfectly with all the colours and then I've chosen two little text phrases from the sticker book before 
before coming in with my black acrylic paint, paint just to add a few black splatters to the bottom left hand corner up and across to the top right hand corner just making that horizontal line from the bottom left to the top right. I don't like to say no to more embellishments, so I'm adding a few more in, some gold arrows and gold hearts before coming in with my stamp. So I've decided to do some stamping directly onto those colored segments instead of those labels that I'd created. So I start off doing tone on tone stamping and I stamp all the things, but you can't really see it, and especially on that red segment. So in a moment, you're going to see me come in with some black ink and I'm going to stamp over the tone on tone just so that those little subtitles stand out a bit better. And that is this layout complete. Thank you so much for joining me as I create once again with a lovely Lottie Loves Paper sketch. Please do pop along to the Lottie Loves Paper Facebook group where there is a fun sketch challenge every week. This gorgeous colour study collection by Vicky Booten is also available in the Lottie Loves Paper online store. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope something you've seen today inspires you to create something beautiful too. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you subscribe to my channel and you can also find me on Instagram at Handmade Happy by Monique. See you next time. Bye.